Okay, hey guys, um, this is, uh, chapter one. Um, the first step I took towards, uh, making USF cessation was I had to find a soundtrack. And I was aware that I was making the video very long, okay? I wasn't unsure how long I wanted it to be, but I wanted it to be long, okay? Mainly because it just, uh, it was the end. That's it. Uh, I had to do something that was really great. And yeah, had uh, I thought making it long and keeping you entertained during those whole that whole lengthy time uh, would be a challenge, and I think it really worked. Okay, so the soundtrack was the uh, first thing I did, and uh, there's a few things that I thought about how to mix the soundtrack. I'm now to tell you guys I'm not the best audio mixer. I do not audio mix a lot. I do not merge soundtracks. I do not cut edit soundtracks. That is not my job. That is not what I focus on, okay? It's it's a skill you must know. You, or it's, it's At least you gotta get the basic or the general idea of how to merge a track and make it seamless or shorten it down or something like that because you can't just like fade the song. I mean it works but it's better to end it when the song ends and you know, you gotta have a little rhythm in your head. You gotta have some beat. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how how I did that in Premiere. I mean, you can do it in Sound Booth or I guess Vegas. I think Vegas. I think Vegas works really well. But um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do it in Premiere because that's how I did it for USF Cessation. Okay. So I'm gonna just gonna start a new project here, and um, we're not gonna play around with the format audio samples. We're going to leave that alone. Um, I'm going to set the location to my documents. And I'm just going to leave it untitled. Uh, scratch disk, you can leave it alone. Just make sure it's like same as the project or something like that. Click OK. Mm, yes. Uh, since this is, uh, what's it called? What do you call this? Um, presets. Video presets, sequence presets, something like that. Um, uh, DV NTSC widescreen. Okay, so that has the audio sample rate of 48k. Uh, I think that works really well. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, sequence OK. Okay. So we started our sequence, and I'm gonna import a song here um, from the one and only Red from End of Silence. Uh, let me set this to MP3. I have no idea why this is not on all files. There it goes. Um, breathe into me and it'll import and we don't really care about this uh, sequence thing right here but we do care about um, the source thingy and right now I'm just gonna bring this up and extend audio one since we're gonna be cutting up audio one alright so just double click the song and you see uh, this is our source editor and then this would be the uh, program editor down here on the bottom and okay so I'm just gonna start the song. Uh, blah blah blah. Just pop it down here. There it is. The uh, reason why I extended this so I can see the waveform better. And I'm gonna hit plus to zoom in here. And I'm just gonna scrub through the song. And I hear the intro. Okay, so something about here. I see some dip go down. I can cut it right there and maybe throw in this dip over here because uh, I see two high points but make sure the song matches so right there I can cut it so I'm gonna zoom in go to the very point right there so right there when this loud so song hits I'm gonna hit uh, C stands for cut or you can grab this razor tool right here that guy and just split it right there okay and I'm just gonna zoom out and then I see that high point right there so I'm, I can just uh... so right there when it goes breathe your life into me uh, actually right here it even looks even better right there that loud hit there so I'm gonna cut it zoom out and then I'm gonna hit V that'll bring up my just selection tool which will also be this guy right up here on the top left just select it and hit delete and then you can uh, just select in here and go ripple delete or control Z. I'm just gonna snap it over there, okay? Ripple delete. So now, if you take a look at the song, let's just play it for example.
So right there, it sounds flawless. I mean, uh, the, you, the artist will know that there's something wrong with the song. It's cut, it's shortened, it's whatever. Um, but it works because you don't really hear some like crappy edit, something like this. And then, for example, you'd be like this. You know, I mean, okay, let's say you did something like that. The, the song cuts like that. Okay? But there's some way to fix that. Um, well, not necessarily fix it, but you can, like, merge it together. Um, into audio transitions, crossfade, um, constant gain and constant power is kind of what you want. Gain will be, like, it'll merge the songs, but it won't keep the same intensity or uh, wave waveform or height, wave height as a... Uh, as power would. Power would uh, basically merge those two wave points so they nest together, kind of. Constant gain would kind of like fade them out and then fade one in. Kind of like, uh, not, uh, you'll see. Um, if I overlay this one on top of the transition right there, and I'll play it for you guys. So you kind of hear right there, it just fades, it fades in. Like, uh, it fades down and fades up. And if we use constant power, you're gonna notice. You're gonna realize um, the uh, the song keeps its same um, wave height or strength. So I'll play that for you guys. Okay. So obviously the lyrics don't match up. Okay. Yes, I understand. But with a little time and a little bit of song knowledge, um, you can find the words that match up and the tune and use these transitions, constant gain or constant power, to uh, merge the song. Okay. So that's and that's basically the whole uh, soundtrack. Um, of course, I spent a little time on the famous YouTube. Hey, look, it's Katy Perry. Um, yeah. Oh. oh, have you seen this video? It's really funny. Fred the Raver. You guys should check it out. He's like a little kid rocking out to a song. Okay. Well, anyways, um, yes, I did use YouTube to check out, um, find some songs like uh, Broadway. I forgot the name, something Pinky. I, uh, I love that song. And um, that's basically it. Um, I use Premiere to merge the songs and just sequence them up. In an, and then I would go File, Export, Media. Okay? And check it out. Um, the format would be an MP3. Yeah. And then uh, Preset, I want a high quality song. So the audio bitrate would be 320. And that's it. And then output, just send it to the desktop or something like that. And then I'll call this like the mix or something like that. Okay, save. And you can click export or queue it to the Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, doesn't really matter. It does the same thing. And uh, it'll start exporting. Okay, so hope you guys really learned how I did audio mixing here. Um, of course, I'm sure there's there. I know there's people that's way better than me, but um, hey, uh, you gotta work with what you can do. See you guys next time.